Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power and Revolution with our North Korea playthrough. Episode 27 with the series here. We left off last time we had taken Washington DC um, and the head of state residence here. And now we just got ca uh, troops basically holding the capital currently. Uh, 602 commandos, they do have enemy soldiers still inside Washington DC. Uh, but controlling the head of state. Um, basically breaking into the White House bunker there got us control of the city but um, that's about where we stand currently the United States still sending a lot of troops our way we did call China into the war and China's done a great job at helping us fight uh, US troops here in the water we're going to so we're just gonna kind of keep up at that and let the game keep rolling hopefully this will force the United States into a peace treaty with us which it looks like we just got. So let's take a look here and see. I'm sorry, I had to read this twice. Actually, I read it like three times. It can't be how much money I think it is. Debt to be paid by the United States of North Korea. They're gonna pay us <laughs> 80 billion dollars for seven years. The two countries retain their historic borders such as they were before the conflict. Yeah, I'll take 80 billion dollars for seven years. Holy crap. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, send our commandos home. We don't need them there anymore. It's going to take them a while to head back. Holy crap. $80 billion for seven years? That's like half a trillion dollars. That's half a trillion dollars. I technically occupy the head of state bunker. Uh, they're sending tanks in, but that's okay. I'm just gonna send my, my commandos out. I don't need them. I don't need them there. Okay, so the war is over. I think they're still technically fighting China. Let's get our submarines out of there regardless. Um, once these troops here, they should all end up getting picked up. Our boys did a good job. Now that the war is over. Wow, $80 billion. Do you know what that's going to do to our economy? I don't even know if we can... I don't even know if we can handle $80 billion. Like, I'm concerned about inflation, honestly. That's, they're going to be paying us $80 billion a year. That's a lot of money. We don't even produce that. We have a budget excess of 24 billion already. I'm gonna have to spend it all, like a lot. Constantly. Just to stay afloat. Like, just to prevent um, Uh, okay, I guess, boys did I guess the United States literally just surrendered to me and capitulated. Um, no. No, we can't have that. We literally cannot have the United States. What just happened? They really so did we kill the head of state and they just compit they just literally rolled over? How did that happen? That's gotta be a bug. 
What have I done? Like... Okay, hold on a second. Population still only 25.6 million. We do have a GDP that's significantly higher. Well, not that significantly. We started out with 49 billion. We're at 62 billion. That's really good. But this shows that the United States hasn't actually capitulated over to us yet. So we're just occupying it, I guess. Until when? Why am I getting a lot of people here? People are unhappy. The headquarters operational. And we have a cyber attack, I guess, happening. Yeah, I don't own these troops. Even though they're marked as North Korean, they're technically just have surrendered. So we're just waiting for more peace deals to come through. I mean, we already. Okay, so they basically just threw down their weapons and gave up. But we don't own the United States. They're not. They're technically just in the middle of. See the see the color's not the same. So we don't have control over these forces. Oh, oh, here's or something. Public finances. Well, happiness increase in North I want Korea. To. Public finances. Public finances aren't that bad. We've got a budget excess in billions of 25 billion. And plenty in the reserve. Why did we get hit for public finances so hard? I didn't spend any money as far as I could tell. Inflation's fine. We gotta keep an eye on this. I'm waiting for something to come up with the United States. The United States still exists as a country. End of North Korean United States conflict. The execution of Ronald Trump took place at some time before 6 a.m. According to our informants, the former head of state was very humble before the firing squad and did not wish to have his eyes covered. Ah, uh, I might have just made a mistake. The enemy has surrendered. <laughs> oh my god. The Ministry of Defense has estimated 128,000 civilian and military casualties during the conflict with the United States. The war will cost the nation $223 million on the whole. Okay, so we're just waiting for the final peace treaty to go through. Wyoming taken. We have control of the United States. Yeah, I know. We're not going to give me all these, are you? Yeah, you are. Well, we have control, sor sort of. Oh my god, come on. You're going to list off all the states? Jesus. What is going on right now? So, technically, since I was able to fly commandos in there... Okay, here we go. Wow. Okay, so basically here's what happened. Since I was able to fly commandos into Washington, D.C., storm the White House, and storm the head of state's bunker, I was able to take Ronald Trump and <laughs> put him in front of a firing squad, and then the U.S. literally just capitulated, which is amazing. Um, I cannot... I cannot integrate the country. We we would never support the US economy. It would destroy. It would literally destroy us. And inflation would go so high we would literally die. Um and I can't I can colonize the country, I guess. Which is what I'll probably do. I can't um what I'm concerned now is I'm actually concerned that the previous peace treaty is not in effect. That we're not going to get the $80 billion for seven years, which is what I really wanted. I mean, colonizing them, I don't get anything. Yeah, I get a powerful ally. And they're not going to interfere, I guess, with anything else. But 
I guess we'll go for colonized country. Wow, this is uh This is just something else entirely. I've got some mixed feelings about this. I mean, look at all of the all of the troops that are heading back to the US. So they're going to hold an election or something. They're going to elect somebody else. I mean, what's going on here? This is all under North Korean control right now. Oh, Jesus. What are the worries? Oh, all these warships. Well, it's all U.S. warships, technically. It's nothing to do with me. Okay, it's back under U.S. control. And we've got a, formerly a citizen position. He's... Oh, that's a governor. I want to see who the president is. Dependency on North Korea. Yeah, they... Boy. Yeah, so he's just a governor of the United States, I guess, now. And he really likes us. Wow. Okay. How interesting. Was not expecting that. And our popularity went right up because of public finances. What's the budget look like? Budget excess is 24 billion. So is there a way for me to check and see if that peace went through, that peace deal? I mean, at this point, now with the United States in that position, we don't have any threats to attack. I mean, anybody. We have Russia and China on our side. I mean, let's face it, there ain't a European country over here that's going to fight the United States on our side. I can't believe that that happened. It just, we just got lucky, I guess. And now what's really nice, actually, is all of our aircraft are allowed to fly over here. So these are civilian aircraft that weren't originally allowed in the United States. So now they can head to the United States. And on top of that, we could actually do trade with the United States and make some big bucks with trading. Oh man, this is huge. See if we can meet with the governor if the people are, aren't, yeah, they're not gonna meet with us just yet. It's gonna take some time to repair relations. You are no doubt. Holy crap. This is huge for us. Okay, and it's, it's actually the new year, so this is a great time for all of this to fire. We've got a seven, almost, uh, let's see, 7.19 billion cash surplus. A little bit more dilapidated housing. We're going to deal with that. Here are the GDP and growth. Um, actually had a negative GDP growth, which is pretty crazy. Our people are not, are, are not happy, but they're not sad. That's pretty good, actually. We're at 105, so we're going up. <clears throat> Employment and everything doing really well. The war being over probably helped. Army, it hasn't really been able to grow. Commandos. I want to get this up to 40,000. Now that we got all this extra money, we could do that. And then we need to buy more missiles. So let's go ahead and get, because that's going to, we're going to need these for future wars. And that's very expensive. So let's just buy 200 right now. Or get up to 200. And spend that money. And we paid off all our debt. We don't have any debt with any countries. And we got a treasury reserve of 8.8 .8 billion. And the budget excess in billion is down to, oh, 14 billion. I must have been reading this wrong. It's not 23, it's 14. Or it went down. We have reestablished our. Is there a way for me to see the peace treaties with the United States? I want to know if we're still getting the 80 billion or not. I have no way to know. The only way the only way I can know is check and see if if France shows up cuz they're paying us some type of war reparations here. I kind of yeah, no treaty. I much would have rather had the 80 billion. Damn. I mean, it's not a bad idea having having uh, the United States removed as an issue for us. 
But they're the largest superpower. The only ones that were going to give us a hard time. We got really lucky with that. Um, okay, Tokyo's next on my list. I want to take Japan. And then um, South Korea so we can go for the Korean unification. These, these are these are where we're going to go for this. Let's go ahead and get the subs, though, turn, return back to base. Meanwhile, whilst we've got a little bit of money we're sitting on, I'd like to focus on our infrastructure because it's been lacking for a while. Our budgetary surplus has risen to 39.64% of the GDP. That's pretty Here nice, actually. Here is our actually. growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations. And this is our estimated growth, so they're predicting a 3.15% growth by the end of the year. And unemployment's down to 1%. Did we ever get our tanks, by the way? We're still... They're still uh, set to objectives, so we haven't got them just yet. All right. Is the nuke plan up? Well, I can take these guys and return them home. We don't need them here guarding... And I'm pretty sure there was a city here, but I think it was destroyed. Yeah, there was a city there. I, I'm i almost positive. I, I could be wrong. We still got highways we need to build into the upper um, cities. Uh, all of these other ones are connected here. So it'll just be a matter of getting uh, getting those cities connected by highway. Game's kind of freezing up on me a bit. There we go. Turn it. Turn the speed down. So let's see. Space research was something I I stopped researching or I didn't bother researching because I had somewhat changed my mind on spending the money there. But now that we finally have the budget excess and we've got the national treasury, I'm going to go ahead and crank that up. Meanwhile, the number of researchers, I'd like to go from 35,000 to 38,000. We'll spend the extra money on that. And we're going to build a couple more of these. Let's throw up five of them just across the full region. There we go. So this is going to be all infrastructure now from here on forward until we're ready to, ready to go to war with... Japan, but I don't want to do the Japanese war until we have get our missiles balanced out and we get this career soldiers going up and stuff like that because right now um, a lot of our soldiers have uh, they were killed in the prior conflicts and I, I want them to get a chance to kind of rebuild send these 100k soldiers back, I'm going to send all of these back All my missile launchers will send home. They don't need to be out anymore. That'll make South Korea not as nervous anyways. We do have a satellite. How does this work? So what happens if I like put this outside of South Korean territory? I want to see what that does. All right, transportation. Let's take a look at housing. 14,000. See, it's a little too much. We need to work on this. <clears throat> so 14,000. What would it cost to do 200,000? The treasury it would spend it would cost 140 million. So let's do that. Start of construction, time to reach construction objectives less than a month. Okay. So we're going to try and crank down 2,000 of those and keep working on that so housing can be uh, cleaned up and resold. How's inflation? Perfectly fine. Almost below 3%. What can we do to help the budget? We can't trade with the United States just yet. They, they just won't do it. Um, we have a, a treaty with Pakistan and they're currently at war with Afghanistan. Am I reading this correctly? No. Yes. Yes, Afghanistan and Pakistan are at war. Well, we could help Pakistan out. Join the conflict. Uh, we just got out of a war. Let's hold off. Give our country a break. Uh, let's meet with Pakistan, though. We might be able to sell them some stuff to help. 
Something to consider. Can I contribute to the war effort in other ways? We have a military alliance with them. Yes, we have a military alliance. I'm going to try and alter it. I'm going to see if they'll give me land and sea rights. Because if they do, then I could send forces there and then start the war with forces already on the ground. That would be a lot better. Um, in my opinion. So super high speed internet we were working on. <clears throat> Mobile telephone, right? So only 52% of the country has telephone. What if we change this to 60? What would that cost us? 574 million. That's a lot. All right, I'd rather spend that money on the highways right now, I think, than spend it on that. We've already done all this. Ooh, we could build something. What could we build? Multi-sports complex, stadiums, swimming pool, ice rinks. Um, yeah, we don't need any of that right now. He's refused. Huh. All right. Let's max out our police. I know it's expensive. That'll make sure crime's nice and low and stays nice and low. All right, so highways. What would it take? You know what? Actually, let's see if we can finally do something with China here. Let's connect. Let's connect a city with China. Nuke plant's back up and running. Awesome. It's got some soldiers defending it now. No, it's not back up and running. It's, oh my god, it's still going to take a while. Okay. We are awaiting your... In what are people upset about? I don't understand what... This What's the problem? Whatever, I'll appear on television. Try to calm them down. television appearance does not seem to have all right well it did a little bit so all right highways high so it's either going to be okay Whew. this is not turning out well no we're not going to go kill civilians hold on how bad's it getting there's plenty of police there they're handling it fine here i'll have them arrest everybody we'll get it over with there's not that many protesters. North Korea's really got a protesting problem, honestly. They want to send the military in and start shooting up these people. There's freaking like five of them here. And we have a super strong police presence. All right, nice. Crisis diverted. The rep Ooh, okay, nice. Now we're getting a little bit of space research in here. That'll help with our economy. Because we could sell some of that tech. 0.13% inflation. All right, we haven't taken any debt. Nope. We're burning it all through the national treasury right now, which is accumulating interest. We've got 9 billion in reserve. Let's, uh, I don't think we need the refugee camp anymore. Let's dismantle that. That'll save us some money so we're not just operating that. The power plant's going to take forever. But once the nuclear power plant's done, I would like to probably get a second one up. Start turn, uh, so we're not relying so much on coal. And then let's, yeah, so the, the train. I want to get a super train or something or some type of train between China and one of our cities just to help with growth. So what, what would China charge me for something like that? High speed train, let's see, because secondary, let's see, secondary highways.
Okay, these are just highways built all over the place. I would have to up the miles and have them just build highways. Uh, we don't have any secondary highways, I guess. Uh, main highways are the big ones that we got to connect cities. High-speed trains can be built between places, but I guess highways can't be, be built between um, cities of other countries, if I'm reading that correctly. Let me see. Does the United States have, like, anything connected high-speed train-wise? So they've just got highways. No, they got a highway connecting to this Mexican city here. Right? And I'm sure they got highways connecting to Canadian. So how the heck do I... Oh, they got trains too. Oh, and pipelines. They've got oil pipelines. Hmm. We don't have any... We don't have any oil. Because I'd love to connect some highways to China. How do I do that? You go back into transportation. Click main highway. So if I want to build here, it won't let me though. You are not authorized to build in this territory. So how do I get authorized to build? I don't actually know. No thanks. All right, I think I want to create a sales contract with this guy here. See if I can help him out. I can't sell him aircraft carriers, obviously. Is there anything I could sell you that might help your economy and help me too? Building and housing and roadway and construction. I actually got a lot of production of that. And he would buy some and that's not bad. Can I get him close to the 120? 104? 108? 114? Ah, uh, okay, whatever. All right, never mind. I'm not gonna go through that whole thing. Let's just uh, let's just get some highways. We could do the high speed train. I know we could do that. No, we can't. Okay, hold on. So what is it we can do? I thought you could do the high speed train. So I don't, I have no idea how to build, um, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea how to build in other countries. Well, let's get our own highway going. I said I'd connect all my cities by highway and that's what I'm going to do. Um, we can do a small highway from here to here since these aren't connected. I only got to cost 287 million. It's a lot, but we've got the money for it. So let's go, actually 312 million total. So let's go ahead and confirm that. It's going to take total length. And it'll take four months to build. That's not bad. We'll have it by the end of the year. We'll have it very soon, actually. Nice. So that connects those cities, which means the only other highways we have to build. Are going to be. To these four cities up here, which I could connect all of these and then just do one to here. I'd like to do one from here to here, though, too. That way I've got cities uh, in every area. Telecommunication. Okay, so you can actually right-click and just enter a whole construction area. Um, housing construction. Oh, so I can, yeah, I can actually build housing if I want to in the whole region. Um, there's really no point in building housing right now. And uh, even though building housing might help our population and a couple of other things, uh, fixing dilapidated housing helps just as much because it's housing, it's housing that's like falling apart that you're going to basically build and then people are going to be able to um, occupy that housing so unless you're like having a massive population boom which I don't think we are there's really no point yeah our population is growing by like 0.80% it is growing significantly since 2017 but it's not enough to really 
you know, right home to, you know, a little higher birth rate, contraception rates down. That's not too bad, actually. Urbanization rate, life expectancy has gone up a lot. Holy crap. And then the gross national happiness. Uh, we haven't been able to break up there yet. We'll get there, though. Health's actually going down. Purchasing power, national wealth, human rights is killing us. I abolish the death penalty. I don't know what more these guys want. What more could I give them? I know there's other stuff I could do, but you got to be careful too. So this is for employment. All this is what it is. I don't want to mess much with that. Um, family. Legislation, abortion legal on demand. If I make it illegal, which would help with population, people would like that. Legal except in the case of rape, except in the case of rape and birth defects. People don't like that. Okay, that's really weird. So let me do this and see if that'll help continue to increase population. Oh, North Korean delivers 10 Packages tanks. Been delivered. The delivery deadlines were met. <gasps> oh, we purchased 10 tanks. It worked. I want to buy more. Oh, and national production's gone up because we're buying them, so it's growing the industry. Oh, we could buy all sorts of stuff then. Yes, so that's how that works. I wasn't 100% sure. Those are level three tanks too. Those are no joke. Oh boy. This is exciting. We could buy a level four missile launcher. No. Why not? I can't buy any of these. Oh, I have to... Okay, so these must have been gifted to me by somebody. I can only buy level one. I don't have the re... Oh, black market. Damn it. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Maybe I haven't uh, made it so that these can be bought yet. But we could buy helicopters, rank three. We could buy drones, rank, rank three. No, not yet. So I'll have to go look at those. Fighter planes? Yep. Okay. So we'll want to buy more fighter planes. What about an aircraft carrier? Aircraft carrier rank three. What about a rank one? Black market. What about a rank two? Okay, so we could buy a rank two aircraft carrier. Oh, man. And then nuclear submarines? No. Satellites? No. Okay. Very cool. So, we're going to mess around more with this in the... Next episode, we're out of time anyways. I'm going to play around with buying a couple things. How cool would it be to get an aircraft carrier, guys? A North Korean aircraft carrier. Let's just take a look real quick and see what it costs. Oh, no. It, a rank two it was? Yeah. I think we already looked at this before. Yeah, it was going to cost... Uh, um, Four billion dollars. We actually have it in the National Treasury. Oh, it's so tempting. Let's focus on our tanks rank three. We'll get those up. Um, because we definitely need more tanks. What else do we need more of? I'd like to get more fighter planes. We could build more air bases to house them and more helicopters. Yes. And then, yeah, we definitely need more fighters and, and our frigates and cruisers. We actually don't have that many at all. Um, submarines, we had a decent amount. A nuclear submarine would be pretty cool, too. The aircraft carrier, we're going to eventually get. I'm confident on that. All right, so I'll leave it off here, though. I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.